I was a little nervous there for a minute. It just... The camera didn't want to work. It didn't want to work. It didn't want to work. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Okay, I got it back up. <clears throat> I get all washed out. Woo! It's cold down here. Oh, my gosh. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Surreal Cinema. And look, look, look. You can find me on this Surreal Cinema. Sir dot real Cinema. Ah, okay. Whoa! Anywho. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm Graham, and this is Surreal Cinema. Um, <laughs> wow. I just watched... I just watched a very artistic, very mentally messed up movie. It's so hard to wrap my brain around. Well, one, very little happened and it happened very slowly. A lot of partying, a lot of drugs, a lot of nudity. Um, we've got the beach bum. Uh, this has got uh, Matthew Broderick. He plays... Uh, moon, what was it called? Moon, moonshine or moon, moon fox, moon, moon something. Um, moon dog. That's what it was. Moon dog. He plays moon dog, and this has got Lo uh, Martin Lawrence in it, and Jimmy Buffett and Snoop Dogg. I mean, this cast is just insane. So basically, this movie is about a guy who just wants to have fun. He just wants to live his life. He just wants to be himself and be unique. He likes to party. He likes his his weed and he likes his drugs and he likes his alcohol and he's just like sex. Just chill. Just a just a relaxed guy who doesn't take anything too serious and just kind of just is and uh wow it, it this movie i have to say this is a really good flick really good flick so snoop dogg's character um was sleeping with uh um moon dog's wife about two years i guess behind his back and uh moondog just was he loved his wife so much he didn't care didn't didn't bother him his wife loved him so much it just it, the problem is um moondog would go on these hiatuses all the time for months on end sometimes where he just got baked and 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 just totally lost lost himself in existence and just just pure lack of responsibility and and that kind of thing uh his wife was a multi-millionaire lots and lots and lots of money no care in the world about having to pay bills or anything like that she just enjoyed what she did and she loved her husband but um, with him being gone as much as he was, he, or she ended up finding, um, uh, Snoop Dogg's character, or, you know, which was the best friend of, of Matthew. And, um, yeah, they, they, they enjoyed each other's company a lot. And there's a car wreck with him and his wife and she dies and you can see that he's sad and he's touched and he's heartbroken but it's he doesn't doesn't really seem like he grasps what just happened and she had a will. She she kind of knew she was going to die before him. And in her will, she stated that half of her money goes to her husband. Half of it goes to her daughter. 
the uh, the half that goes to her husband, though, it has to go into a trust. He's not allowed to touch it until he publishes a book. And it's been a thing that he's been wanting to do for years. He's a, he's he's not really a, a writer. He's a poet, and ends up having to publish this book in order to get the money from her estate. When he finally gets his head out of his rear end and he publishes this book, he tells the, the guy, the finance guy, I want it all in cash. Go buy me a really nice yacht and put all the cash on the yacht. He's like, I don't trust, I don't trust the government and I don't trust the banks. So, to celebrate his wife, he decides to have a massive, massive fireworks show. And he celebrates it on this boat with this kitty cat that he just fell in love with. The boat catches on fire because of his stupidity and all the money burns up and the cat and him end up at the end of the movie floating on a little raft it says moon dog on the side of it and he's laughing. The money doesn't mean nothing to him. The experience, the life, the, the party, the drugs, the, the memories fun. That's what means everything to him. Pretty darn good movie. I found this at the Dollar Tree. It was the only one there, so I'm assuming they didn't like release very many to the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Pretty darn good. It says a, a new comedy. I, I don't think it's a... I don't know. I don't think it's really a comedy. I think it's... It's more of a... It's more of a... Adventure. Um, following in this guy's footsteps. It's pretty cool. Alright, you guys. I have yawned a lot of... I'm trying to hide it, but it's true. I have. I'm tired. It has been a long day. Uh, all right, you guys. I'm out of here. I am going to go off to bed now. Y'all have yourselves a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. And until then, y'all, bye for now.